Well, hello and uh, welcome back to our playthrough of Fall of Porcupine. We're on episode 4. Hopefully it won't be as lengthy as previously. Uh, so let's just get into it. Good morning. Someone's energetic today. I am alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. No, we are not. We're still the rest. Okay. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. And that would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. Oh, my voice is kind of... Maybe I'm getting sick. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost seven years of studying medicine and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. Not today, bad. You won't tempt me today. No matter how soft, warm and cozy you look. Someday. Yes, yeah, someday I'll get around to gaming again. <coughs> Wait for me, our time will come. Okay, it's time to go to work then. Uh, wait, where do I go? <laughs> Here? I already forgot. Oh, hello, Mr. Walrus. I haven't seen you before. Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. I guess we just work to different schedules. But put it this way. If you are the kind of guy who lives a shrewd investment, who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. Alfio. This morning Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Okay, we won't go to the left now. We will go here. We can. I hope we have enough time to check out that uh, other street. Because we're out earlier. And hopefully they fixed it. Because there was road work happening. Any new people to chat with? Yo. You live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his cabbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, never even eat yogurt. Be glad I'm on the warpath. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can. Stuffed to the broom with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the awful cups came tumbling down on my head. Now I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and vanilla smell otherwise. Uh, there is a space bar missing. The space missing between I'll never there's space missing. So is the bus running again? Yeah, I took it. To, I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist, so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Rizzo's Hospital? Oh, you're one of those folks. Your garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Rizzo's earlier this year. Slip disc. Do you know Dr. Gautera? Mm, Gautera? 
I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. Did we assume it's him? I haven't been there long. Right, anyway, Dr. Gother is a good guy. Showed me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Matthew says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? I'd rather walk. Oh my god. I get it. The weather's still nice and the exercise will do you good. So now we have a Matthew. Matthew was standing at the bus stop this morning and smelled like yogurt. At first I thought he was just really into dairy, when in fact he works at the garbage disposal and had a small incident this morning. I kind of feel for him. Let's go! Let's go down this path. It should be open now, or no? Excuse me? Mm, yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? <laughs> Haven't you heard? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop's closing today. It won't open again until spring. They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get a delicious ice cream again. So we can't go there again. I can't go there. No, we'll just go the regular route then. Not much we can do. Hey, are you okay? Are you looking for something? Hello? Trains are great, right? Do you like trains too? I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was a train. Uh, yeah, trains are cool. So you like trains too? It's like... Sure? Wow. But you know what trains can't do? Swim. That's why there's no trains here. Because this is water. And trains can't swim. Sure, that figures. I think trains should be able to swim. Then I could go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like sun that much. Not as much as trains. What? 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 Ah! Kim. I don't like trains all that much, but I didn't want to spoil Kim's enjoyment. Early start today? Yep, I wanted to enjoy the walk to work a little more. You can see so much going about the world on foot. New people with familiar faces too. You can even get yourself a nice breakfast in the below and park bench. Have you had breakfast today? Yes, of course, I have to be on form for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. I get call birds, for example, a lot of bills. I wonder what's going on there. And the Delphine... Wittersberg hasn't received any postcards for a long time. I hope her pen poll is okay. Hold on, you read people's mail? No, not on purpose. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. It's just one of the hazards of being a postwoman. I mean, I can't deliver the mail blindfold, can I? Don't think that's a good. There's a young sapling. Young sapling, what do you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, it's really beautiful. You look much more relaxed today, too. We haven't had such a beautiful fall in a long time, you know. 
But there was once a glittering golden fall here in Porcupine. Do you want to hear about it? Sure. Then let me begin. This all happened before I was born. <laughs> oh no. But my father liked to tell me the story. One year there was a fall like no other. That was the year Porcupine's first train station opened. The town had never seen so many visitors. There hadn't even been a better year to visit Porcupine. The weather was as perfect as it can be. <laughs> not too warm, not too cold. Oh my god. The scent of summer blossoms and fall leaves. <laughs> I don't want to read that. Harvests, uh, potatoes, uh, blood red apples, pumpkins, the best wine. Every day was a fest. No one had any worries. Everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone's friendly. The whole thing lasted for three months. That sounds nice. I would have liked it. Me too, me too. The door is closed. Are you here about the fountain? Whoa there, kid. What are you thinking, creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to contemplate here. Sorry, what are you contemplating? Take a look for yourself. The old town's fountain has given up the ghost. Just back in the whole fountain game. No splash, no splash, no nothing. You are right there. Any idea what's wrong with it? Not a one, but it'll work at it. We only got the Reaper contract from the council today. The town normally turns off the well in winter anyway. But they want to fire it up again for the Hibernation Festival. We usually keep it running until then and then give it a winter's break. But this year we have to fix it first. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you then. You better be off using them to hold on and hope this old dear gets up and running again. Who just throws away their bike? Or the vending machine over there? There are so many better ways to get rid of your stuff. Because university just left things in front of the door. When I turned around, they were gone. <laughs> yeah, that's how stuff works in dorms. You never leave anything behind unless you want it to be taken. Simple. The vending machine's actually full too. And what's it? Chalk dogs, of course. Let's go to Vorky, Vorky. It's time to go. We've come to work. Hi, Ingrid. He is again. <coughs> Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? Uh, doing okay? <coughs> Uh, depends, you're asking me or my back. Uh, you? Wonderful. A dream come true. I get up at four. 
Even the bakery isn't open yet. The coffee tastes like cold ashes. Uh, the damn bus comes once or twice a season. <laughs> and I lost a, a bridge badly. Oh, you play bridge? I used to play that with my granddad. He taught me. Uh, good memories. <laughs> I hope you had a nice evening anyway. I was okay, I guess, but uh, biggie cheats. You had it for me. She just can't lose like I can. Don't be a sore loser, kid. <laughs> Even if Biggie is a miserable cheater. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say, kid, you know you're aware of the hospital yet? Sandra's was my second home. Yeah, yeah. We're all, we're, one, we're all one big Abby family here. I like the game that's best. Or when we all cook together. It's just great here. Can't imagine anything better. Anyway. It's not a bad thing to... Get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you'll need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He's chief physician after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good thought. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? Yes, of course. His office. I know that. <laughs> you don't. First floor on the right. Thanks, see you later. Don't trip yourself, kid. Wait, what? Go back in. I didn't mean to do that. Hi, I'm... Don't say a word. But, but, shh. I just felt the tickle of inspiration. Yes, the sounds, the images, I can taste them on my tongue. This is it, the truth. What is? Carrot, hibiscus, fennel extract. Yes, so it shall be. So, so what shall be? My next masterpiece. The one that will carve my name in the annals of history. I can't wait. What do you want? Are you here to peel potatoes? No, no, I'm just looking around. Nothing going on in the cafeteria yet? Excuse me? Do you know who I am? I am Sergei Mortina. I have cooked all over the world. Tasted every flavor the earth has to offer. I have even added my own unique taste to the pantheon. There's nothing I can't cook. Wow, that sounds amazing. Is the food really ready yet? I could go for a little snack. The instruments are tuned, the stage is primed. Just a few more moments and the expectant audience will enter the hall. This is a day they will never forget. The day on which Sergei cooked for them. <laughs> so, can I get something to eat or not? I, uh, come back later. Won't be much longer now.
this Mr. Hedrick's office. Hmm, no answer. Maybe he's not turned up yet. Or he already has his nose buried in some contract. This is Chief Physician's Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in around and say hello? Maybe he's not in. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's windy outside. Oh my god. <laughs> what an abstract painting. What is that? Oh, hello. A very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Uh, good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined not long ago. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Settling in nicely? It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting now. Always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure that you'll do great work here. So Finley, what brings you to good old St. Arzolus? Was it the views? Love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know. No, no, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, I finished my degree in medicine and wanted to start working straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city, spent all my life there to you. I've never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. That and I thought the place was nice. Oh yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected. But I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully, I'll get a chance soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a long, good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to keep all our staff happy. Staff. Which word do you work on? I, uh, unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply doesn't allow it. So, why the stethoscope then? <coughs> oh, this old thing. I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? Do you have to do working with Krakowski? Uh, Dr. Krakowski is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. And Dr. Krakowski knows it too. She just doesn't show that often. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else I can do for you? That Mr. Arndus? Yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. <coughs> Excuse me? It wasn't your fault. You are not the first to have a runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Linwood had to go looking for someone once. And that patient only had one leg. Anyway, it all turned out alright in the end. Dust yourself off and keep it keep at it, okay? Thank you. What do you think of Kateria? Old Sergei does a good job. I complained about a dish once. The orange overture, he called it. A bit bitter for a starter, if you ask me. Anyway, I haven't spent much time there since. 
but that doesn't diminish my respect for Sergei. And I'm a great proponent of healthy feedback. Even the healthiest foods can leave a bitter taste. Is there anything else I can do for you? It really is, isn't it? Nice hospital. <laughs> I fell for the old lady's rustic charm many years ago. Uh, yes. No, that's fine. Well, thanks for your time. Good, good. Off you go then. I'm sure you have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. I should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. The shelf is full of folders and old medicine books. Wow, I wouldn't mind looking at those. I bet half the content are out of date by now. And the golden mini golf trophy. Oh. Um, I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you're standing in the office of the local Minigolf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. <laughs> that was like the dopest exchange. Like from behind the screen he'd be like, hmm. I wanted to use the elevator, I forgot, but I guess I will just take stairs. It's fine. I am in the ward number three. Let's go do some work. Good morning. <clears throat> nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today's yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the bats have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. The vault is a chief of medicine. We've got our fans full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. Oh no, there is another patient here, so that's interesting. Giuliano! <coughs> what are you doing here? Oh, Finley, my friend. Uh, I brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing has happened to her. So I figured we would better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley hasn't lived a porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh, yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to meet her for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving french toast with applesauce and nice strong black coffee. Thanks, Giuliano. I think that will do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pop of flowers. I'll call you later. I would like that. It's so sweet. 
Good morning, Mrs. DeCalma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So, how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son, Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall, can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of the beautiful fall air. I can truly enjoy it. My breath breathing got faster and faster. I had just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. What? I see. That reminds me of a great story. But maybe they can wait for another day. I'm rather exhausted. Alright, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I would like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French toast. Just sit tight, we will have you out of here in no time. Find the correct combination of symbols. A blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbols, but in the wrong position. A green mark, red symbols in the correct position. Oh, I messed up. Treatment complete. It took me a while to figure out how uh, what I was supposed to do. Hmm, let's see. I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage of pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we will keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you, I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. We will do, thank you. So we need to prescribe meds for 301, the, the lady with the uh, gastritis, uh, Finley. You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We will get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out then. 
I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally. But I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Yeah, same. I really don't like hospital smell. Um, I don't like a lot of chemical smells. Then I guess we will catch up with Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by anytime. I will. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. So... four pills so you can do two of the same pill that's that's good i was like thinking what's happening so you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep we will get the stomach ulcer under control but to keep it that way you need to avoid stress that's easier said than done i know no i'm glad you said that maybe that's what i needed to hear i've known for a long time but now i really do need to look after myself more but how? The spill you are about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. I will choose this green, so now we have like the 303 left. With a check up on the asthma of the asthma kiddo. How are you today? Pretty chill, Doc. Uh, just bored to death. I, I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you're in the hospital. And that's the truth. How's the cough? Much better? That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure, you need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now, that's plenty. Alright then, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, just a turn of a phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs, don't worry. Phew. But how do you have to do? Oh, 
Okay. I'm memorized. That was bad, I'm sorry. I forgot what I have to do. Hmm. What is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Uh, is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. <coughs> I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in than just for, just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Uh, sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot too. It's good that you had told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> We've got tea and coffee too. Ugh, coffee, that stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later, thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Yeah, hehe. <laughs> I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. I can see that. Alright then, let's see what you've got for me. There's definitely room for improvement here. I can see that you are not completely talentless. But you clearly lack discipline. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient, what about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mrs. DeCalma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time too. Take good her, her, good care of her, Finley. You will be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalma, Mrs. DeCalma is nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person. Always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mrs. DeCalm as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. <laughs> hey, Mia. Uh, are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now that you mention it, have you tried? Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I would say it is. Let's go. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yes, correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? I must hate you at the library. Finley. I'll ride a ride to the gift area. Hello. Hmm, 
what should I get? Hey, Lisa. Mia, hey, are you on a break? Who's this you've brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I'm... I'm a guess. Uh, I guess you are on Tony Millicent too. I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the words of surgical department. I can't decide what to eat. Don't see anything you like the look of? Oh, quite the opposite. All oh, dishes sounds delicious. Really? Yes. Sergei is an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he would fit right into the surgery. I would like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. Alright, thanks. What can I get you, good? Mm, what have you got? Art. The finest culinary art in town. <laughs> Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a world journey. No, I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can highly recommend pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. A gourmet delight. So, go on. What will it be? Uh, what will you like, Mia? Mm, I don't care. You pick something, I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay, I would like... Yeah, the wrap sounds kind of fine. Uh, the pineapple wrap, I see you're a doctor of good taste. What a it to you both enjoy. How is it? The wrap? Uh, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples. But I didn't want to complain. I was so hungry I didn't care. But I actually meant to work. How's it going for you? We both started here just a few weeks ago. And I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. That's what my parents always say. True. Somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I, th I think I like uh, the Saint Rosulus. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff here are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish that I wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Uh... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. Uh, you do. How do you like Sergei's cuisine? Uh, pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry, I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it up to you soon. Now, my name is Roman Heydrich. I'm the executive director at, uh, of St. Ursula's Hospital. I will keep things running as smoothly as I can. And to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald. And of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it is, uh, it's always been and how it always will be. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart that information to you personally. Especially since some of you have had a difficult start here. I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Arnus. You are new and mistakes happen. And I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we had to make certain accommodations for him. He is now at the best care center in the country, where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. 
Anyway, and no such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Alright, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I saved my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. That was interesting. You can say that again. Are you done? I definitely am now. Let's get back up to the ward then. Mr. Hedrick's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Yeah, this episode is even longer than the last one, I think. Oh, we can chat. Am I friends with my roommate in the ward? Makes staying here much more bearable. Man, what happened? Are you serious? You piece of trash. Hello? Who is that? Where is it coming from? The elevator, maybe? We should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is somebody in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those talking elevators. Wah! Damn door stuck! Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor the old fort? He's the reason I'm stuck here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. Do you want to get out of here or not? Yeah, I guess. I've just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bunglers skulking around. Alright, Finley, do you go to the surgery to find Gregor? I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan, thanks. Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. That doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get the door open with, uh, with gauze bandages and ivy flutes. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You tried. <laughs> you mean you've tried it? Oh, uh, look, knife shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and be right back. Hurry up, the walls are closing in on me. Run. Surgery. Where was the surgery? F second floor, I think? Gregor, there you are! <coughs> What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs all Gregor's help. Won't even give me time of the day when everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light or squeaky door and it's Gregor this. Help that. Mr. Glendower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hole. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal. But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? Okay. Looking for Gregor? Check upstairs.
Okay, this is really the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. Alright. Wait a minute. Put this in here, fiddle around here. I should do it. Okay, now! Uh! Oh, everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. You killed the janitor! What brings you to the surgery? I'm looking for Gregor. <laughs> My goodness! Good luck, Finley. Mr. Glendower, are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'll live. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment, all the same. Balony, you wanna make an omelette? You gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, your elevator link. Give me a moment, I'll just need a quick break and we'll take a look. Finally! I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. Should've known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that was sounded familiar. Oh, what? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh, yeah, right. Freedom! Oh, that sweet, sweet sound. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in here. And uh, now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. Hmm. <laughs> what of these days? Are you alright? What? Alright, yeah, all good. I'm just short on time. Already had loads to do today. Could have done without an voluntary lunch break, Greg. It stares only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit at least. Hey, don't even start. I spent all day running from one ward to the next. Scrounging together the stuff we need for our ward. Ghost bandages, catheters, side food. We don't even have any saline in this place. I'm finding all the stuff just the start of it. Alright, enough shit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back up to the ward. You know Krakowski by now. The steam is probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink. Think about it. Laters. But What about the boxes? I guess he'll sort it out. I really should get back to the ward now. Oh yeah, we better use the stairs, cause... Here I am, did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? Did it took you a while. Who was in the elevator? Carl. <laughs> a typical. Have you seen Dr. Krakowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off, then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that, I'm going to do some sports. 
You can join me if you want. It'll be fun. That's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. So. Why are those bugging out? So we got... She's in the school sporting grounds. So here I have to decide what uh, you're gonna do. Dr. Portobello, Liz, I mean, she seems really, really nice. So we have a choice, we either go have some sports or we drink with Carl. I, I kind of more inclined to do some sports, I don't know. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job. Like everybody else here does. Your average performance isn't enough to make up for your constant absences. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out, I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But what Carl was... I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we are clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. Okay, goodbye Dr. Krakowski, I'll try really hard. We can't use elevator, it's broken. <laughs> I don't know where the school grounds are though, like... How do I go with Mia? If I don't know where she... where the school grounds are. Oh, there you are. How's it looking? Are you gonna come down to the sports court with me? I want to get some exercise tonight. Yeah, sure, let's go. Alright, come on then. Race you to the sports court, uh, sp school sports court. If you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Oh no, is that Akra Krakowski? She looks angry. <gasps> Why? Go! This is so cute. The game is really pretty looking, you know?
I have no idea where I have to go though. There's nothing like a map. I found it. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic here I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you. Nice. So you want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing uh, basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. Get these a lot for being one of the youngest. That's what I wanted to hear. Throw for a hoop, keep yourself fit, hold E to change, charge your throw, release E to throw, score. We got tied. <laughs> wow, Finley, what a match! Now we get goosebumps. And I'm out of breath. Imagine if we were on the team together. It would be unstoppable for the first two minutes at least. <laughs> I'll probably run out of juice by after that. Haha! <laughs> so, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all of my boxes. And I was out of action for a while. It feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're not fitting in so well. How do you mean? Uh, sometimes people look like they're fitting very well, but you would never know what's actually going on in their minds and how they feel when they're like alone in their apartment. Doesn't always go like that. And it feels like I don't know anyone here. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. Is it raining? <gasps> it is raining! Oh no. I've had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. But at Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you actually. As I mentioned that, it started showering even heavier. Okay. Really, that's the price. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always save some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. This is such a long episode, oh my god. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. 
I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving, I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes alright. I'm sure it will, I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow. Pump up, play basketball with Mia. Evening there. Aren't you cold? Ah, alright, emergency shelter won't take me in. Been drinking, they don't like that though. Helps for the weather though, the boredom too. But I'll get it under control. Confess, no, you'll see. Althea Mertens always gets it under control. You take care now, you hear me? I will, I will. Feel like making another investment? Prices are about to boom. Scouts honor. Here we go. I thank you. You won't regret your investment. Take care of yourself. You too, the night will be pro over before you know it. Aww. Well, since we're already uh, going the long road, I just want to know what's going on here. Uh, the chair is gone. I can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Good night, world. Good night, world, indeed. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and day is complete. So. Ah, uh, apartment is a mess. What has happened here, Finley? But uh, about that, we'll find out in the next episode. This one has been going on for a little bit too long. Even with cutting out the phone call I had, it will take more time. So hereby, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, you all are awesome. Jan, thanks for my longtime subscriber losses, souls on Twitch, and my constant Twitch stream viewer Kim, and of course my virus protection. I had to jump out now and make this nasty sound, but uh, you guys are awesome. And. All about how you can support me can be found in the links in the description. Uh, you can always go and watch a stream. And uh, watch some other videos. So probably be something on right now. So I thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye.